Here we go again, I guess. This physically hurts. So hello everyone, today I'll be showcasing the map, showing you all of the NPC locations and yeah overall just explain some new things. Hope you enjoy the video. So this is where you usually spawn, I'm sorry if the frame rate is laggy, my PC is dying. Oh yeah, they also added NPCs everywhere. Is this Among Us? Imposter? Is this the imposter from Among Us? So yeah, going into this direction, you'll be at the main area of the map. You got your tutorial NPC, which is worthless. We got Poochie over here. We got your stand storage, uh, daily quests NPCs. They also added daily quests. I'm not sure what it gives you, to be honest. Your regular dummies. And the new Umbra NPC, which is used for the new stand or spec or whatever you want to call it. There is also the Jotaro NPC over here. And the shop right behind it, which you will need to buy a bike. So yes, yeah, there are arrows, bones and bikes now. Yeah, it's a, the bike is pretty much essential. So anyways, going in this direction, which is on the you you just compare it yourself anyways uh, going into this direction well firstly you'll find a football field here well to be honest it's not a football field and i'm just as confused as you are anyways keep heading into this direction and you'll come across what i like to call the new devil spawn there are two ways to reach it the bridge over here and this one but I'll go from this bridge because it has the gyro NPC. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you that. So yeah, the gyro NPC is over here. Going into the bridge, I fell, I died, I hate this game. So yeah, this is why a bike is pretty much essential because you always spawn back at the beginning. It's never, it's never gonna spawn you where you want to be or where you were. And you just have to walk all of the way back. The map is just way too gigantic. Oh yeah, also the Colosseum is here with this guy. They both don't do anything and the Jotaro NPC that was inside of here isn't anymore. So yeah, using my brain this time, I'm going to cross this bridge at least I demonstrated what not to do and over here is where you get your sand piles or sand debris whatever you want to call them and then you boss altar which I don't know how to use to be honest and over here is the boss altar which I, I don't know how to make it work to be honest I'll probably make a video about it when I do figure it out anyways keep heading this way and you'll be faced with some pyramids now this one this one is useless, just like the real ones. This one, this one is also useless, they're all useless. But this one has the Jotaro NPC, the broken one may I add. It, 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 ju it just never works, it never works, it doesn't give you the quest. And over here is the Joni NPC. I don't think he changes places or goes anywhere like he used to, so yeah, that's very cool. And over here, over here is the Stux Dux NPC, I don't know how to pronounce his name normally or take it seriously at that matter. And the Don't Sword, so yeah, these two are right next to each other, that's pretty cool. And the Dio NPC is also here, so you can get your Nocturnus, Solstar, Platinum. But this one pyramid that does absolutely nothing, just move on. So anyways, from the Colosseum, keep going in this direction, the the Devil's Palm area is this way, so yeah, just keep going in this direction. You'll have to commit some trespassing here and there, but it's fine. Oh yeah, also there's another football field thing. So yeah, anyways, here's the beach where you can achieve freedom and whatever, and you can't go past this area. And the meteors spawn here for some reason. I really don't know why and I also can't find the Kilwa NPC anywhere. Now go to this side of the beach and you can't actually go over here, I don't think you can get past this wall, you need to use the lame bridges. So yeah, make your way over here, which the beach is over here and the main area is over here, this is where you spawn. So make your way over to any of these bridges. Going over here, you'll find the Gojo NPC just over here, chilling, alone. And by his side is, well, it's somewhere from Dragon Ball Z, but yeah, I don't know how to pronounce this, but this is the Goku NPC. And some meteors 
spawn here i don't know why don't ask me and zehem npc spawns here i'm not really sure if he changes locations or anything but overall you'll find him in this area there is supposed to be a bridge here somewhere so yeah i'm just gonna walk over here and oh it's him uh do you fart i forgot no stop J just stop oh there's also a crap hello so yeah this is the gaster npc as well i don't know if they fixed it to be honest and there's a crack in the hole over here so you can just oh there he is i found him on accident so as you can see this is the main area and just directly in front of the stand storage guy you'll find color right here that's pretty cool uh this isn't the most convenient way of showing you but hey it works so let's not complain too much all right so over here is the devil's palm area and over can you not okay fine whatever over here there is nothing and over in this direction there is the forest area with gojo and goku where, where are their names so similar and over here is the beach area so yeah this is pretty much all there is to the map like it seems way too overwhelming at first and there's just way too many new things but yeah that's pretty much all the rest to it so yeah that's pretty much it i'll try to make a video regarding the chest locations and the new bosses new spec so yeah don't forget to subscribe i don't like to bring this up too often because it is annoying and also by march is pretty cool and it will be used to support making my game yeah that's not dead yet episode 5 coming soon so yeah see you guys next time thank you for watching